what, one of the areas that, that I, I, it is, is outstanding is, is investigation into the possibility of putting the town hall into a trust for the same reasons. And I'm, I'm, I'm working with a couple of solicitors in town at the moment to, to bring that forward. Yeah. Great. Okay. Uh, right. I'm, I'm happy to propose this one. Anybody want to second it? Nick, thank you. All those in favour? Any against? And any abstentions? <laughs> so that, that was unanimous. That was unanimous. Yeah. Okay. OK, and finally then, there's a proposal to agree heads of terms on a new lease for the cheese and grain. And Peter Wheelhouse is going to tell us about it. Just a few words here, really. This is a good news story that we're, that we're, we're now in here because uh, the reality is that since you decided in September that you would put 130k into the, uh, the new media centre at the Cheese and Grain, uh, Power to Change, which is linked to the uh, big lottery, has now confirmed that it will put 300k into this project. Uh, and I also understand that the Bert Yanch Foundation prepared to underwrite the equipping of the recording studio and other elements of the, the media centre. So this is all, all really good news, but what it now means is that we need to do some work to ensure that these monies are released. And the most important thing um, that we, we need to do is we need to, to sort out an agreement to lease those uh, bits of property which are, uh, are currently in, in the ownership of, of Mendip District Council to enable the construction work to start. Um, the other important element in this report is that Mendip District Council are looking for us to consolidate our leases because there, there is an existing lease on the building, <coughs> but there's also the new external areas at the front, the ramp, the outside seating area, and now of course we're looking at uh, an area of car park to enable um, the media centre to be completed. All of that, they suggest, comes together in a new lease. And what you have before you in this report is a series of heads of terms which would be included in agreement to lease. Um, so what I'm looking for you to, to do tonight is to approve where I've suggested you approve and where I've suggested you delegate authority to me to negotiate uh, some amendments to those heads of terms that, um, that you agree to that. So that's it really. Thank you. Any, any questions for Peter? No? Great. Oh, Nick? Am I correct in believing that the consolidated lease would be no more than the lease of the Caravan? You'll notice that uh, initially we're talking about a peppercorn rent, a, a, a pound. Um, but there is a provision within this uh, new lease under these proposed heads of terms that enables uh, from 2025 uh, a rent to be charged, but only if the circumstances change. You'll notice that um, so long as um, this, this operation is still um, going on to support the community and provided that it continues to be not-for-profit, that it's very unlikely that we'll be asked to, to pay any, any rent on this. Um, but uh, that, that uh, provision is in there to review that uh, from 2025. Mm, okay, anybody else? Right then, should we, uh, can we have a proposal for the recommendations? Peter and the seconder, Pippa, all those in favour? Any against? Any abstentions? So that is unanimous. Okay, in a minute I'm going to close the meeting, but I should let you know that the next meeting is Wednesday the 25th of January, <coughs> back here. Uh, the one after that should, in theory, be in the Town Hall. Uh, and I also need to let you know that immediately I close this meeting, we're going to have another meeting which will last, in theory, just a mere two minutes. Uh, and that is the meeting of the Plainfield Trust and the, the trust we just mentioned. Okay, so that's the end of the town council meeting. Thank you very much for coming. If you want to sneak out now, please do. We're going to, the council is going to stay sitting and get this bit done in two minutes.
first one's the Mary Bailey. Right, okay, well done. Welcome everybody to the 2016 meeting of the Mary Bailey Playing Field Trust. Um, so the agenda, there's a single item on the agenda, I think? Uh, there's, there's, no, there's, there's two. I beg your pardon. So the first item is to approve the minutes of the last meeting. Are there any comments, questions on the minutes of the last meeting? Good. Uh, I'm going to propose that we accept those. Can I have a second there? Thank you, Colin. All those in favour? Any against? Any abstentions? I'm going to, I'm going to call that unanimous. Thank you. Uh, and then the second item on the agenda is the duty of sole managing trustee to keep the oath. So this is, uh, explain to me, instruct here. Oh, I'm sorry, beg your pardon. So approve the minutes, yes, and instruct the town clerk to fulfil the duties on the trustee's behalf. So can I have a proposer? Pippa, seconded Kate, all those in favour? Any against? Any abstentions? It's unanimous. That's that meeting closed, thank you very much. And then finally, welcome to the 2016 meeting of the Theodora and Lagrosse Trust for Open Spaces. Uh, we've got these three here. Three recommendations. Here's the first is to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Any questions or comments? Can I have a proposal, please? Colin and seconded Nick. All those in favour? Thank you very much. Any against? Any abstentions? That's unanimous. Secondly, uh, to instruct the town clerk to fulfil the duties of the trust on the trustees' behalf. Uh, I'm going to propose that. Seconded by Pippa. All those in favour? Any against? And any abstentions? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then finally, uh, on this one, we've got a, a, a third recommendation, which is to agree to the request of the Froome Town Council to acquire the freehold of the open spaces at Rodden Meadow, Waylands, Welsh Mill, and the old show field, which they very kindly donated just this evening. Uh, I'm going to propose that. We have a second there. Nick, all those in favour? Any against? Any abstentions? Done. And that's unanimous, and that closes the final meeting of the evening. Thank you for your patience. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Do you just sign the front? Yes. 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 Or, or all of them, if you want. Yeah, yeah. Take got them. Man, well done. <laughs> that was long, wasn't it?